It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, welcome back. It is your feel good breakfast show. Uh, medical chats with Dr. Darren Green, and we're talking about stimulants, all of those things that give you the boost, the energy, energy drinks. We spoke about caffeine. I wanted to ask the question is it a dangerous thing to take energy drinks and combine them with alcohol, as is the regular practice out there in the nightlife? <laughs> Indeed. Well, you know, at the time you feel bulletproof. Let's put it out there. So it does have an effect on your degree of partying at the moment, but the plunge is the thing. So what happens is your sugar levels plummet uh, mm. quite significantly after combining the two. Alcohol is a sedative. It's actually not an upper. It's a downer. It yeah. actually relaxes you, chills you out if you're anxious. That's why people tend to use it as a crutch many times. But that combined with a stimulant actually has like a bit a of contradicting effect. Yes, yeah. the poles are opposite. So you can imagine then what might happen is you, your mood can become labile afterwards. You can have cardiac dysrhythmias that oh develop. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and that makes you feel almost as if you've, you've lost control, but you're also anxious at the same time. My word. So oh. you've got to look at, Be at moderation and, you know, calculate those risks. All right, let's take a live call right now. Shuaib on the line. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Katlejo. I just you. have a very brief question. I am a di diabetic. Um, but I have about 11, 12 hour days. I don't take any energy drinks or any vitamins. I just survive on, I mean, what must I look out for when I do take something for extra energy? Okay. Good. So, I mean, he's diabetic, so the big thing is sugar control. Yes. So he's got to look specifically, if he does take an energy drink with a supplement in it, got to consider, for example, the amount of sugar in it. So sugar-free, certainly you do get sugar-free uh, energy supplements out there. And then also look at the amount and the time that you're taking it. So now you're taking the energy drinks, if you're having a 10 or 12 hour day, and you take it at 3 in the afternoon to help you for 2 hours until 5 o'clock. And then you can't sleep that night. Hmm. Because 6 hours later, the effects of the stimulant are still in your system. Yes. And that just makes you even more tired for the next day. Yeah. So what he needs is actually to calculate his sleep, uh, you know, absolutely meticulously. Look at low GI, sustained energy during the day in terms okay. of his diet. Mm -hmm. Eat regular small amounts during the day. Whole grain foods, perhaps even, you know, all the low GI stuff yes. like soy and linseed and that kind of thing. Okay. That will help. And uh, maybe keep an apple handy every now and there then. There we go. Sure, we hope that that has certainly helped you. Ephedrine, what is that? Mm. Ephedrine is an adrenaline compound, so it looks, this, the molecule is the same as adrenaline. It works on the adrenal receptors in the body, mm -hmm. and that's, uh, you know, what you have when you're in fight or flight mode. When you need to escape from a lion entering the room or someone threatening you with a knife, for example. That's when you'd, you'd then have a surge of adrenaline, which is pumped out by the adrenal glands, which sit just be above the kidneys, mm -hmm. gets into the bloodstream, and it has a host of effects on your nervous system. Dilates the pupils, for example, makes your heart pump faster to pump blood to the vital organs like your brain and your, your gut to absorb food to either look for an exit to escape or uh, obviously to, to face your enemy or yes. your fear. Fight or flight. Fight or flight. Okay. Well, well, we'll talk a little bit more about that as we continue our chat with Dr. Darren Green. Our lines do remain open on 083-9133-728. If, like you, Abe, you do have a question to ask, we will gladly take your call and have the good doctor answer it. Right now, over to you, Mr. Stradom.